Okay, if you can notice, I have drawn some lines. It's the same size as the front. I've drawn some lines. So, that line there is 10 centimeters down from the top edge. Now, what I call this is a shoulder blade line or shoulder blade level. If you can see on the dress form, I've done the same thing. So, I've actually taped a line right there, which is 10 centimeters down from the back neck and it's parallel to the ground. So, let me begin. So what I've done is, I've pinned the vertical horizontals done, right? So that shoulder blade line and that, so that becomes my axis. Just like in the front, I did the bust line and the center, center front, okay? So now let's begin draping. The same process. Now just remember, I've, I've actually pinned the front on first because I want to now use these lines as my side seam, okay? So the same thing again, neck point first. Sorry, the shoulder and the neck intersection first. You need to make sure that these intersections match because when you want to pin them together, in that case it won't. Now, if you've noticed, oh, there's a lot of excess falling towards here because now we're going to add that as a shoulder dart. So if I take this and pin that up on that line here, the excess becomes a dart. Now, you know, some, in some dress forms that might be a lot more than I've got here and that's actually okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do the armhole, side seam and then the dart. Now you've got to be really careful with the back, especially around here, is that if you don't take too much excess out there, your dart becomes huge and then you might actually need to divide it into two darts. That is fine, but it's preferable that you get one. So I'm a lot more careful when I'm doing this area because I want, I don't want it, you know, I don't want it to be too loose nor do I want the dart to be too big. So the first pin I normally put, I normally get that pull. Now I'm hoping after I clip away, that will disappear.
So you see, it's more or less gone. So now the dart, when I do the dart here, it should actually sit properly. Okay. So, if you've noticed, now I've pretty much done the back, back draped part. I'm going to mark it. Just a few pointers that you need to remember. When you're doing the back dart, make sure that the dart or where the dart ends doesn't go above your armhole. Because you know, we have a ten, we have, we need room to move, right? And if you, if the dart goes too high, we tend to get restricted. Okay? So, I'm just going to stick to that theory here and just about there, not beyond that. So I pin this on the princess seam at the back and that's basically it. Now I'm going to mark it out. Show you the end result. Alright, see you in a bit. <laughs> 